Yangon, Myanmar's biggest city and former capital. Myanmar is a country that borders Thailand to the west and has been cut off from the rest of the world for many years until recently. Now certain parts of Myanmar are open for visitors. We came several days ago and shared the gospel of Jesus Christ and what he's done for me at a local church in central Myanmar in the mountains and lakes region during rainy season when the area where the church is is completely flooded even water underneath the altar and the church kind of built up on this it was church with water surrounding it it was pretty amazing to see and it was a great blessing the point of us going around for castaway ministries to share in churches is to call the church to greater compassion for the broken those of us who struggle with same-sex attraction and gender identity it's also to be the voice of the broken for those sitting out in the congregation who could possibly be struggling with same-sex attraction or gender identity to let them know what the Lord what the Lord can do for us if we're willing to repent and put our faith and trust in him another thing that's very close to the heart for castaway ministries and is really our primary focus is evangelism street evangelism street witnessing and we did a lot of that here in Myanmar as the Lord led so we went from the lakes region down to the southern part and across by bus. These buses that you can see here, not always easy, across, across bumpy roads, sometimes with no air conditioning and, and windows open and, and dust flying and rain and everything else. But we had a fun time doing it, enjoying the Lord's leading as we share the gospel with folks as we go. Some of them were lady boys. We call them in Thailand, we say lady boys, which means transgender male to female and there's some kind of Buddhist festival here a water festival type of thing that there, there are parades in the street often at this time of the year so we saw some folks dancing in the street and went over and shared with them had some interesting experiences and interesting dialogues the sad part about Myanmar is that it's very closed off to the gospel and we learned that quickly People were very quick to tell us that Myanmar worships Buddha. They just say, Myanmar Buddha, when you start to talk about Jesus. So that was very sad to see. So we're very thankful to be called to do this kind of ministry. It is not always easy. Please support us. Please join us in prayer. Praise the Lord for all that he's done and for all that he will do as we go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, knowing that the time is short.